we're going to use some small balls today. So I have my balls slightly bigger than Sue has some smaller balls. You may recognise those as being Franklin balls. These are balls called the Miracle Ball Method. Any balls that have air in them, because the whole idea about our balls sequences, which are part of our training unit called Teach Balls Repertoire in Pilates, is to add a little bit more challenge. Today we're going to use them to destabilize us, to, so to practice our balance a little bit more. We're going to use them under our hands, we're going to use them under our knees, and if you're really lucky by the end, you might get a bit of relief by putting them under our back. So moving over into your full point kneeling position, place one ball under your right knee and then the other under the left. And you've got to find that position just under your patella or under your kneecap. Placing your hands underneath your shoulder joint and plantar flexing the feet so that the tops of your feet are facing to the floor. Breathe in. As you exhale, draw your abdominals up towards your spine and your armpits down towards your hips as if you've got that limited edition favourite book under each armpit. Again, breathe in. Breathe out, draw the abdominals in and pull that book tight in under your armpits. And on the next inhale, we will flex at the knees, taking your feet off the floor. And exhale, take them back down to the floor. Not moving in the spine. Inhale, flex, feel your hamstrings activate. And exhale, placing the feet down. Inhale up, keeping the back of your neck reaching up towards the ceiling. Exhale down. Let me see those spines stay in neutral. Come on guys, you can do it. It's challenging your balance. Get a bigger flexion, try and get those heels to your buttock, heel to your buttock, heel to your buttock. And exhale, going down. Now we do a few cat curls and arches. We're going to inhale, prepare. Exhale, let your tail go towards your pubic bone and the back ribs up to the ceiling. Nice deep exhalation. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, tuck your toes under and continue into an arch. So you're taking the chest forward, but thinking of C7, the lowest cervical vertebra, reaching up to the ceiling and your abdominals are reaching to your spine. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, curl up into that lifted abdominal position, ribs to the ceiling. And inhale to neutral. Long through the crown of your neck. Tuck your toes under and exhale. Go into an arch, pull your upper body forward. Don't hinge back further at the hips. Keep those armpits towards your hips by locking in your favourite book. And inhale to neutral. Now bring your hands a little bit closer to you. We do that with a greater challenge now. So we're going to do it. You can choose. You can have your toes like this. In fact, we'll do a couple like this. And then we'll do them with the hands under. So inhale and arch. So lifting your chest up. Lift the back of your neck towards the ceiling. And activate the back of your arms and the shoulder stabilizing muscles. Lift your abdominals up. And inhale through neutral. Exhale, push the heels of your hands away and curl, scooping deeply into the abdominals. Inhale to neutral. Exhale, pull the hands towards you, open your sit bones, lift the abdominals and lift the back of the neck to the ceiling. Last one through, inhale at neutral. Exhale, tuck, curl and push your hands away. And inhale, neutral. Peel one hand off like the cat and take it forward and then the other one and plant the tops of your feet towards the floor. We're going to do what you might know as reverse abdominals on the reformer. You can do the first couple with our feet down then we'll lift them up. So inhale, exhale, bring your knees towards your hands. Keep your sits bones open and still in neutral. Inhale back to the previous position. Open your sits bones, keep them open. Crown of your head reaching forward. And exhale, come forward, open the sits bones that activate your abdominals and pelvic floor. Inhale back to neutral. 
Now I think we might try a harder one, lifting the shins up. You can keep them down if you wish, but this is challenging. Inhale, exhale, coming forward. Head up, keep neutral. Inhale back. Exhale forward. In the sit front, lift your abdominals, lift the back of your neck. Now, because I know you're all dying to, we're going to put the feet down and do it in a curl. Inhale, exhale, bring your tail to the pubic bone and lift and curl. Knees up, back of your ribs up and inhale back to neutral. Last one and inhale, exhale, tuck, curl and bring it in. Big curl, push up through your hands, spread your thumbs out and inhale back. That's hard work. That's hard work. <laughs> now I'm going to try it with the balance up here to do um, a stretch and thread the needle. So take um, your left hand out to the side and reach it out. Now one modification for this is that you can tuck your toes under. It gives you a bit more stability. So Sue will do it that way. I'll do the fingers, the fingers. You know, your foot fingers. <laughs> going and reach up to the ceiling. Reach up, up, up and push your right hand down to the floor. Inhale back to the side in that neutral position. Bend the left arm, bend the right arm and reach it long to get a beautiful thread the needle stretch. Try not to hinge back too much. Keep your weight going forward. Lift the abdominals. Tuck your tail under and lead with the crown of your neck, crown of your head. Push up through your right hand, back out to the side. Bring the arm overhead, reach it forward like a, a single arm float, and down. Now we've got only one other arm, thank goodness. We're going to do that. So inhale, exhale, take the arm out to the side, push through that left arm, and reach up to the center. Reach, 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 and push into the balls with your knees, and then exhale back to the center, arm out to the side, bend the right. Bend the left and down you go, reaching, reaching, reaching. And then back to the side, arm out to the side. Bring it over your ear towards the front and exhale down. Bring your knees towards your hands and sit up in a high kneel. Yes, you lose your balance really easily. <laughs> We're going to have them under our shins. So walk it forward a little bit. And you've got to keep your toes pressing to the forward floor. Makes you get your glutes active. We are going to reach the hands forward, palms facing towards each other. And inhale, back we go. Keeping your ribs in line with your hips. Then lift your sternum to the ceiling. And open your arm to the camera. Open, open, open. Hi there. And back to the center. Then we go the other way. Inhale, open. Keep your ribs towards your hips and keep yourself in a neutral pelvis. And exhale to the center. Up you go. Arms up and back to your neutral. Arms out to the side. Sit down onto your heels and take out one ball and then the other. Take them forward. Cross your legs under. Sit back and place the feet on top of the balls. Now, if your abdominals have been asleep, they're about to wake up. So we're going to do some C curves. You know I love C curves because I'm a great uh, believer that you need to have a mobile lumbar spine, but with the support of your abdominals. Breathing in, exhale, reach your fingers forward like someone's pulling you, draw your two sits bones together, let your tailbone come towards your pubic bone and open the back ribs and curl, curl, curl. Press the balls of your feet into the balls and look at your navel. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, sit tall. Shoulder blades down and open through the palms so you've got open collarbones. Yeah, it just feels much nicer. Mm -hmm. Smiling collarbones. Palms back to parallel as you inhale. Exhale, roll back, six points together, navel to spine, open the back of the ribs, press your feet down into the balls, 
Inhale, roll forward, nose over your knees. Exhale, sit tall, shoulder blades down and collarbones open. One more. Exhale, roll back. Press into the balls. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, sit tall. Oh, now that was nice. That was nice and easy. So let's go for the finale. And inhale, we're going to roll all the way to the floor and slide your legs out. Exhale, roll down. Get your sacrum to the mat, lower ribs, upper ribs, head and arms on the floor behind you. Inhale, take your arms up, your head up and roll up and bring those balls back in and sit tall. You might have to readjust because they do like to run away on you. Inhale, exhale, scoop back in your C curve, start to roll the balls out, straighten your legs, straighten your arms overhead. Inhale, head up, arms up, roll up, press into the balls and bring them in and heels down. Last one, inhale, exhale, scoop, curl, reach those arms away, straighten the legs out, Take them on the floor, lower ribs, upper ribs, head, arms. Inhale, arms up, head up. Roll, scoop those abdominals towards your spine and bring the legs in. Take hold of those and bring them up. Now we're going to actually place them at the back of our shoulders, so just about here, to give us a little a release from some tight shoulders. So rolling down and find a position, it's, gonna, it's just a release for the shoulders. Uh, so almost just inside the um, lower tips of your shoulder blades. And extend over, draw your abdominals to your spine and have your hands in a cactus position or capital E. Breathe in. As you exhale, I want you to draw your shoulder blades down and bring your elbows and forearms and palms to touch each other. Inhale like you're pulling out a piece of chewing gum that's stuck to the palms of your hands to externally rotate and go back down to the floor. So don't get there now, that's no problem because you'll work up towards that. Exhale. Forearms, elbows, palms together. Press your feet into the floor. Think of your knees and inner thighs coming towards each other. Inhale and open, swirling with intensity of stretching. Inhale there and exhale, coming back. Squeeze the palms, the forearms and elbows together. Slide out your right leg. Slide out your left leg. Reach both hands to the ceiling. Keep them together like you're pressing your palms. And we're going to roll up through a roll up. Inhale, head up. Exhale, pushing into the balls. You can flex your feet here if you wish to. Then roll up, squeezing the arms together. Take hold of your toes or your shins and pull them towards you and arch up. Just to get a nice stretch through the legs and the calves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and sit tall. Find those balls and scoop yourself slightly forward. Put them on either side of your SI joints. Is that a one or a four? Five. Okay, I think we have five minutes left. One minute left. So we are going to place them either side of our uh, sacrum. Reach your arms to the ceiling, make a nice arm float, and do five circles in going outwards, outwards, outwards. So gentle circles, so the head of the humerus, your humerus being your upper arm, is getting nice and juicy lubrication in the joint capsule. Then we go the other way, and a one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Holding your arms with your fingertips reaching to the ceiling, palms towards each other for a set of eight knee floats. Inhale, exhale, float your right leg. Inhale, down. 
Exhale, float the left leg. Don't move your pelvis. And inhale down. Exhale, right leg goes up, but press your left foot to the floor for a bit of stability. And inhale down. Exhale up. Try not to move your pelvis because of taking away one of your bases of support. So if you're someone that has tension in your neck and shoulders, you probably rely on your arms and your shoulders a little bit too much when we do knee flux. So let's focus on the abdominals. We have two more each side. One. And down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Let me hear that breathing. We really want to see you deep in the abdominals, drawing towards your spine. And last one. And lower. Breathe in. Reach your fingers up to, further to the ceiling. Reach, reach, reach. And then drop the backs of your shoulders to the mat. Lower the arms. Take hold of the balls. Rotate to your left and take one ball out. Rotate to your right. Take the other out. And put one ball on the back of your head, the base of your skull. Slide your legs out. And I'm going to leave you here now to have three or four minutes of pure relaxation. Sue and I are going to have a little four minute nap. And relax. Thank you.